When the laws were being learned by the disciples and the well known rabbi, the discussion had started and it went something like My disciples, today we are going to learn history laws. Disciple one. Okay, Rabbi, but I have a doubt. We are selling all these laws. But when all these laws will be fulfilled, we have gone through great exile. And many prophetic voices also have told the king will rise. So when is it going to happen? I think the Messiah prophecy is yet to be fulfilled. And when is that, Rabbi? Rabbi. My disciples, God's covenant with David never breaks. You see the symbol of star? Yes, Rabbi, but we never know its meaning. And we saw that symbol is authentic scriptures too. Rabbi, the star of David is very significant in our Jewish culture. This star represents the covenant and surely there is a hope for the Messiah to redeem us. As we see the symbol of star, let's all await for his arrival. The discipleship in this era is basically focused on reading and following the Jewish laws. A hope for Messiah is rejuvenated in everyone's heart, symbolized by the star of David. Times too, the Christianity grown rich. Shalom, dear. How are you? Can I check the symbol, please? Shalom, my friend, of course, see. Sorry, but just for confirmation. Yeah, I can understand, brother. We can't trust who is our men and who are our enemies. It is safe to be in our own plans. By the by, how are things going on? The things that are happening are worse there. These governors are persecuting in each and every instance. Oh, is it so? Here is the same, but let's not lose our hope. You see, we all have the symbol of this fish, and the itchers sh should always remember the words of God as He says, For blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So don't forget that we all always have a gift. Yes, my brother, thank you for the words. Now I got a new motivation for this symbol. And every time I see this, it remembers me this promise of from God. Sure, brother. Don't forget to lift, lift us all in your prayers. Shalom. With these fears, the people were keeping their faith strong. The sustenance in the times of troubles and resistance in the persecutions made Christianity widespread. Let's see this. 
And with this, the times goes by, the Roman Catholic Church evolved, the heresies and wrong, wrong practices are evolved. Scripture was interpreted in their own ways. And there arose a reformer. And knowing that his act, after few years on Christmas Eve, some people who are also interested in reformed teachings just has a, had a discussion and it went like, Hey dear, glad meeting you. Did you hear the news? About the news of the reformist ideas? Of course it is. See this Bible? This is the great work of his hands. You are right. Now we got the authentic scriptures. And now I came to know the importance of this cross too. But the cross doesn't only really represent Christ's death, but also it symbolizes the salvation that he brought and it is free for all. Yes, seeing this cross, let us spread the real gospel and the true depiction of Jesus Christ. Let's not be like the priests who have misused the scriptures, but choose to serve the Lord with whole heart, mind and soul. Let's grow. Try to spread this true meaning of cross, not the indulgence, but through His grace alone, we are saved. As the scripture says, take up the cross, deny yourself and follow Jesus. So let us all deny ourselves holy and follow Jesus, taking up this cross and good news to the people who have never known Christ. Let's enjoy this Christmas advent now. <laughs>